It happened just outside of this auto shop here, and tonight people in this neighborhood are worried this armed and dangerous man could harm someone else. This beloved dog was found stabbed to death. Weta's owner found her lifeless body Tuesday morning and then watched the disturbing surveillance footage of the attack. It looked like somebody stabbed her, and then once we looked at the cameras to see what happened, we, we found out that um, a man chased her down and cornered her and stabbed her on the neck. Police provided this picture of the suspect, hoping to find him before anyone else is hurt. The fact that he stabbed the dog unprovoked, um, we don't want this to evolve into something else because generally sometimes it'll start off with animals and it'll evolve into something else. The owner's son asked and not to be identified, but says his father is certain the attacker they described as being a transient had broken into their business years ago and was even arrested. A neighbor told us she saw the man through her window after waking up to the noise. I heard him yelling at the dogs and and then the dogs kind of got riled up more. And then for a minute, I kind of just heard like the dog cry a little bit. She was very friendly with everyone. Um, we got her when she was just a puppy. Neighbors are worried the man could strike again. You have to be really like a sick person to do that to a dog. And who knows, like he's still out there. It's who knows if he can even do that to a person, you know, like it's just scary. There are several homes, businesses, and a college near 2nd Street and Town Avenue. I'm really nervous about these people in the night. Maybe this guy have a, a weapon in his hand or maybe a gun. The family had Weta as a guard dog for about four years. Her two pups were unharmed. No living thing deserved how, how Weta died. If you have any information, please call Pomona Police. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.